For years, amateur and professional filmmakers have used boom poles and shotgun mics to capture a variety of sound. Hi, I'm Brandon, a Denver Open Media intern, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use a shotgun mic and boom pole. When the silent films gave way to the talkies, microphones were hidden around the set in various props such as fences or flower pots. This was great for capturing audio in stagnant film sets, but when actors needed to move around the set, it became kind of a problem. Enter the boom pole and shotgun microphone. The first noted use of the boom and shotgun mic was during the filming of Beggar's Life in 1928 and was used to film two actors walking down a street while having a conversation. The ideal boom pole is lightweight and extendable. This will allow the boom operator to have maximum control of it at all times. The pole we'll use today is a road boom. It weighs about one pound and can extend nearly 11 feet. When holding the boom, it's best to suspend it over your head rather than holding it lower like a fishing rod. Keep it parallel to the ground so you don't accidentally drop the mic into the frame. At the top of the boom pole is a microphone mount where two rubber bands make an X formation. Simply slide the microphone through the center of these X's. The rubber bands are shock absorbers and they silence virtually all noise from the boom's movement. Some boom poles have an XLR cable built into the hollow shell of the pole. If this is the case, there will be a plug at the bottom and you can plug your XLR cable into that. If not, just plug it into your microphone and then you will want to wrap it around your pole so that it will stay out of your shot as you're filming. Once you have plugged in the XLR cable to your microphone, plug the other end into your camcorder or audio recording device. Shotgun mics have an extremely narrow pickup area. While this effectively eliminates most background noise, it can also make capturing the audio you want a bit of a hassle until you know how to properly aim the mic at the subject. Be sure to check your audio levels before you start recording and through the duration of your shot. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to check our page every other Saturday for more upcoming content. Thanks, have a great day.